so that's the industrial assembler built. It's the same as assembler but a different variation. Mm -hmm. Not nearly built. Ah, there we go. This looks janky as fuck, but it's kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> Fully piped up. Now what do I need? Uh, stairs. Oh, that's badly designed. What? You can't. You can't get up there. Are, are the um, things not working? The no, it works. But stairs. I thought if you lined up the assembler with the refinery in such a way, you could get all the way up to the top. I'm gonna move our survival kit as well. No, it's not really good at the back there. Yeah, so you're gonna to need to be a little bit careful about not dying for a few minutes. I could actually build a full medical room with it, but I don't want it because I want to always have two of these. Where should we put the new one? Where? Um... Yeah, where's convenient? On here? See what I mean? It looks no, like you should can't. be able to get up, but you can't. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's annoying. It's annoying. But it would have been nice, but never mind. It's only for show. So I was thinking here. Uh, yeah. Okay, that works. I want to recharge. Don't die for a minute. Yeah, I need to build a secret recharge. <laughs> oh. Uh, I can probably just. Oh, you know, you destroyed it at the respawn pod. Shit. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the point. That's the survival kit. Oh shit, my energy is running out. Down. I mean, your visor down. I'm in the visor up. It's. Oh yeah. No, it's more about. There we go. Not running out of energy before I'd welded that up. Now that's attached to all the inventory. Everything's fully attached now. Nice. Just gonna remove the old refinery. I'm just like, laughing at my my creation. <laughs> no. Oh. Got one and a half. Right. Still got one and a half cargo containers still, so I'll put the drills back on. Oh no, what I'm gonna do before I do that. Mm -hmm. Um L C D. I'm going to put an LCD panel up and a programmable block. Hmm, that sounds right. Might armor corner square. Oh. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's perfect. Right, I've got a full inventory now on the screen. With okay. cargo with cargo um information so I can see quickly when we're hitting cobalt. Uh, we've got 78 cobalt left but hopefully get some more soon. I'm doing cobalt for again. Thrusters. You need cobalt to build metal grids. You need metal grids to build thrusters. 
All oh, right, so I wouldn't even be able to build these thrusters without that, right? Probably can with what's there right now. It's one of those things that doesn't use a lot. Because I got I built a program of what, which is basically a server, like a computer, in game. And you can program the in-game computer with scripts. And I've got an LCD display here next to the mining control panel, which has a uh -huh. list of how full the cargo is and what ores and components and stuff we have. Okay. What I'll do when I've hit full length, I'll mm -hmm. um, retract the drawers fully and then explore down the hole and see how close we came to any ores. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. What do I need to do here? This is looking interesting. Uh, the left side is the one that's complete yeah. first. Yeah. So like from here. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. this is still missing thrusters and shit. Yeah. Well, I think that's a nice shape going on. Yeah. <laughs> kind of going for the Herald vibe there. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it that straight up too. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Up you go. Jesus, this thing's tall. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've used 66% of our cargo so far. Um, and we still have 2.2 million stone ready for you know, being refined, basically. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to need to put a gravel ejector in there somewhere. It might get a bit noisy sometimes, but it's got to go on. Go for it. Um, where do we want to put the gravel? I'll just chuck no, it out the back. Gravel in a people. Yeah, I'll put it out the back so it sort of rolls down towards the ice lake. Okay. Um, so that I need a sorter and a connector. Let's have a look at what's down here. Okay. Oh, we're only 20 meters away from iron. We're still 130 meters away from cobalt. And we were. Yeah, I need to extend it a good way further to get some nickel. There's some iron 72 meters away from me right now. So mm -hmm. if I go, if I bring it over this way far enough, I should hit iron quite early on. Nice. And still be able to go another 30 meters through it. You know, the flashlights in cross block seem to don't really work well. Mm. As a matter of fact, it doesn't really work well on this texture, I think. No. You know what, I'm just gonna color this like normal white for now, so I can actually see shit. Yeah, you're better off just gray boxing it to start with, you know, or yeah. white box. That's, oh, that's much better. Yeah. All right. Right. 
Uh, talk. Lots. <laughs> Breaking talk. Lots. Velocity. No lot. I want to do half a revolution every 30 seconds. So that's one RPM. You recognize this from your lander? What's this? Time block. Timer timer block. block. Yep, you can oh. uh, set it to count down time and then perform an action. So what I want one to do is count as long as it takes to sweep a uh, full arc and then trigger it to reverse and start again. Timer block. Set up actions. Half an arc is 30 seconds. Actions. Hinge. Hinge. Where the fuck are you? Reverse. And. In a second time, a block is for extending the pistons. Want to extend the pistons once every minute. Like all um, ore detector and gyro and all that, that doesn't need to be like outside, it can be anywhere, right? Yep. Just keep in mind it's range. So all yeah. the Texas range would be like 100 meters, I think. Alright. So you need two gyros, right? Yeah, just you might be able to get away with one, but with the weight of that, two might be necessary. That's fine. And at least then you got redundant, at least. And what else do I need? Uh, ore detector? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you want me to build you a landing zone? I would appreciate that, yeah. Yeah. I'll put you one in somewhere safe. Out the way of the drills. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the gravel pile? No, no, not yet. Give me a second. Yeah. Oh my god. I uh, should, should <laughs> dig a hole for this, I think. It's starting to take shape. Yeah. So it really, really looks pretty cool, actually. Hmm, nice. I'm glad you got two large up for on it, though. <laughs> yeah, I kind of need it. I was thinking of yeah. making it with hole, but nah, it's not going to complicate um, it further. There, there'll be a problem because if you start trying to put like uh, thrusters on like rotors and things, your cockpit won't necessarily be able to control them properly. You oh, need okay. a script to have. You can do it with a script, um, but it causes certain problems. So I'm steering steel plate for this, this thing. Hmm? I'm steering some steel plate for the landing pad. Okay, just make sure you put some in production then. Yep. Yeah, there's a thousand on the list. <laughs> this fucking trash pile behind here. Yeah. Drake production facility. <laughs> France. It's pretty, I'm pretty hot. <laughs> I'm pretty accurate with the herald here. <laughs> mm. So when I'm already, I will, I will 
need your help to actually disconnect it from the, the thing yeah. there. Yeah, um, I just need a second to stay, refill my hydrogen. Yeah, I'm gonna take yeah. a while to set all okay. this up. So it was what? K? K, yeah. Uh huh. You group all your thrusters. Um, if you're gonna plan to go a long way, so do several groups. So one group with all your thrusters so you can kill and turn them all on and off. Um, mm -hmm. and set them to sort of toggle on off. Um, then what you want to do is set one group for your forward, no, so for your reverse thrust, so your brake thrust, and have it so you can turn them off individually, so toggle them. Because if you want to go a long way, you do, well, if you want to go a long way, you don't want your braking thrust keeping on trying to slow you back down. Oh, uh, okay. So you'll be able to then stay coupled, but then sort of drift forward constantly. And all you have to do is manage your altitude. Um, it saves okay. a lot of power. Um, and you probably want to be able to turn your down thrust on and off as well. Okay, so I have the groups set up. Okay, and then press when you're in your cockpit, press G when you're out of all of that. And that will allow you to start driving yeah. things to your bottom bar. And so engines and those are just toggle on off. Yep. So all engines on off. Um, Retros on off. Yep. Down thrust on off. Yep. And then landing gear switch lock. Power is just on off, right? Yeah. Uh, no, power's recharge toggle. Recharge on off. Yep. Landing then, gear is what? Switch lock? Switch lock, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, what else do I need to put in here? The toolbar. Um, drill. Connector is uh, automatic. No, go to, yeah, connector. Oh yeah, connector switch lock. Um, connector switch lock. So you use it to okay, lock drill. and unlock. Drill, yeah. dr uh, you should have a block tools on the left. You can drag your drill from that onto oh, the yeah, bar. Oh okay. yeah, okay. And just set that to like on off. Um, and then you should just uh, give a test. Uh, I, I dragged it into the toolbar and it just found it didn't ask me what to do with it. Uh, that's fine then. Just give it a test with your left mouse button. Or right mouse button. Do I have to actually select it? No, no. It should just work. Oh, yeah, it works. And it works the same as you drill. So right click to clear space and left click to actually drill and it'll automatically collect while it's drilling. Right, All right, so I can off. cut you off now. Uh, let's see where to cut there. Uh. Right, so you want to go around everything safely. Do you feel that like you've got enough thrust and battery power? How is your power readings? Is it showing 100%? Oh, I have a few minutes, so I have to come back. Yeah, so go come around to where I my my marker is. Can you see the H? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah, I'm third personing this so I can line right. up the connector properly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it C to go down or? Yep. Just gently tap. Yeah. Okay. So while you're in the air. So while you're hovering, how is mm -hmm. your power reading? Is it in the red on the right-hand side? No, oh. no, it's okay. not red. It's Good. 22 minutes. No. That's fine. Uh, no, no, I mean the percentage, because it will show you how much of your battery output you're using on your thrusters. So try going in different directions to see I how mean... high it goes. Ooh. 36 if I reverse. What about diagonal? 55 if I go forward. Yeah, like 58, 50, 50, like okay. roughly like 60. Yeah, you're in the safe zone, you're fine. Right, get yourself connected. So just touch your connectors together and press the connector switch lock on your bar. A bit further forward. You're lined up. Uh, you need to go a little bit to your right, just a little bit. A bit more, a bit more, a little bit more, a bit more. Right, 
There you go. Oh, you do. Come on, Nice. Right, now press switch lock. It's not locked. Uh, on your connector. There you go. Locked. locked. Green and locked. Power on. Start. Right, the drill should just work itself now. Why, why is this flashing colors now? What? Like it's oh, because the timer blocks are working. Oh, uh, okay. It means they're counting. Right, I want to see how far round that got. We'll, we'll be happy with a semicircle, it'll be fine. Alright. I'm going to actually increase the timer on the times on the timer block. So what it should do is it should go all the way around and then all the way back and then go down. I'm gonna give this a proper test, lights. Yeah. With bottle high is pretty fucking good. Yeah. Searchlight's working. It's got your I, I, have a, I have a target lock on me. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if I strafe in like every direction, I can easily hit 100% power. Oh, you might need an extra battery then. Yeah, it's, it's telling me I only have like 18 minutes. And I don't yeah. know, it's maybe like 60, 70%. Yeah. Yeah. So, not very power efficient then, but. It'll get the job done. But it's sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Whew. Oh, okay. That was close. Yeah, my for <laughs> forward thrust is a bit strong. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said you only need one on the back, really. Alright, this drill should go down in a moment. Oh, oh perfect. Um, oh, Did you I need to go. Oh, no, oh, you've, you've locked with your landing gear. Go back a yeah. little bit further. So you landed gear lot. locked again. Oh. You might want to move, remove that one that's closest to your connector. Yeah. Just go forward a little until it pulls you in. Go down a little. There you go. Yep. Okay, so engines are free charge. Lights off. Nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it actually locks two of those, so I'm gonna remove two of those. I mean, one second enough, anyway. Yeah. There's an unknown okay, signal um, 1.8 kilometers away there. It uh, might have some I goodies for you. Do. Yeah, I might go <laughs> check that out. Yeah. How much power do I have? Let's check. Yeah, I have 75%, so I'm definitely yeah. going to need bigger, bad, more batteries there. Yeah. I have space for it, so that should be fine. Mm -hmm. Did you forget to turn your power on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, head directly to me. And what you're going to see is a beacon, like flashing, a flashing thing, like a little pod on the ground, with a flashing light on it. And it'll be beeping. When we get close enough to it, we'll hear it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. So on that, there's a button you have to press. There might be a dummy button as well, but there'll be a button that you press, and it will give you something to your account that's permanent. And there'll be stuff in the cargo container that might be cool. Just access the uh, cargo container. Oh. 
but don't forget to press the button. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, it, has, it only has construction components in the computer. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, don't forget the button. The button always has something like a skin or something for your account. What button? There'll, there'll be a button on one of the sides somewhere. Unless you ground so it off. <laughs> I think you ground anything off, there's no problem. Okay. Well, just check all the sides, roll it over oh, if you have okay. to. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Special content, try your luck to get a new special item. You did what not did find you any special item. <laughs> okay. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, it's worth a try when they're close. Yeah. Sometimes you get things like a cool skin for your helmet or... Something like that. And grind them down. Yeah. Oh, it has individual stuff. Yeah. yeah. Might be a bit windy on the way back. That's fine. Pretty hard to see, shoot. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is where the lights and stuff are going to come in handy. The spotlight's got you. Is there like a space break above me? Uh, no. <laughs> the only way to break is thrust in the opposite direction. Okay. Um, yeah, if I look at that screen too. It's so visible from uh -huh. like up here. Yeah. And if you want it to fly uncoupled completely, you just press Z for dampeners. Yeah. Okay. Locked. Power. Recharge. Alright. That's good. Alright, this thing's working like a treat. Yeah, it looks like it. Now. Right, I'm just yeah, gonna stop yeah. this. Right, and that should just resume when I press go. Nice. Do you like the buttons? Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I think it's been a very productive day. Yeah, I, I, I did finish the herald. It did take yeah. me more time than I thought, but. <laughs> Stop. It flies well though. It flies really good. Yeah. Actually, how much space does a ladder take up here? Yeah. Sweet. There. Ha ha ha, nice. It's a nice awesome. ship. I gotta admit, it's a really nice ship. Thank you. <laughs> it's a lot more, a lot more armor than I've got. On. Unless there's an insane <laughs> but it's, it's it looks sweet. Oh my oh. god, you're dragging it along the floor, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually in my ship. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, why did you throw us out? Like this could work. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're, you're fine. fine. Your ships. God, it's so wobbly. <laughs> oh, it's so wobbly. <laughs> yeah, I think you are probably gonna have to wait here for me to come back for you. I'm gonna put it here. It's kind of on the land, huh? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> wow. Probably that should work. <laughs> yeah.